stone gland with grease and the other is to get down the weed hatch and just make sure the crop's clear and have nothing to say that it isn't but uh, I'm just trying to get in the habit of doing it and then third I just want to check the oil on the engine so we're going to crack on Senna is currently entertained doing you know what Clearing the canal of debris. Oops, having a bit of a moment there. Clearing the canal of debris. So that should keep her busy while I've got my head down. The hatch. Okay folks, there isn't much room to do filming here, so I'll do my best. Bearing in mind I'm not a professional. Uh, so hatch is up. And Let's have a quick look down here. I'll just do a bit of a hand move out. Uh, let's see if I can clean it up. So, this is the weed hatch. And this is the stern gland. And basically, we, that's full of grease. And then we turn the plunger, I turn every day, which will feed grease down the pipe into the prop shaft there and then that will basically you can just see there's a little drip there I'm not going to turn it now because there's no point there's no grease in it but when I turn the grease through it'll just pack the prop shaft out where it goes out exits the boat and stop that leak I mean that leak would take probably 15 years to sink the boat uh, so I'm not worried and I do have a bilge pump there uh, so oh and the dog's in so let's crack on so I'll see what I can do it's quite, quite simple is we just twist that like so comes. I'll just set the camera up now so uh, you can see me. I'll just sit on my, so my equipment is a knife, toilet roll and a packet of grease. turn the stern gland back down so that's pulling the plunger back now so we'll get our knife and just butter it basically It's a bit like, as I said to my daughter, trying to get icing back in the icing bag. This stuff does look just like treacle. I'm not the biggest fan of treacle in the world. Dogs having a field day out there. 
good thing is, if she falls in, she can get out herself. I don't know if I'm going to do a rescue mission like I did the other day. Alright, Senna. I'm just getting a video of my door in. So it sucked it back in. Allowing it to get a little bit more in. Put it back in because I'm unfastening it. This allows me to get more grease in. Just a quick turn just to look what the idiot's doing. I know what they say small minds. Sucking it right back up now. I'm doing a better job of this than the first time I tried it. It's the first time I did it. I just basically wound it all the way back in one go. I'm at full winding capacity now. See if I can jam any more in. Be the most grease part of the boat. Bit of brass, you just want to go and get that good polish, but it won't be so sad. <laughs> Okie dokie, and then let's just have a bit of a move out. Thread it back on to there. Oh. Or we could do that and drop it into the engine. Now that means I've got to take all the boards and get down there. But I have to take the boards off anyway, so I'll do that now. Okay, so I've retrieved my gland. I've fastened it back on. Now I shall just give it a quick turn so that the grease starts going through. And I can see it going down this pipe now. And basically, it will basically stop. You'll feel it. I won't be able to do it no more to, uh, turns once it's packed. Uh, can't get no more in there. So basically, that brass pipe there where that pipe's leading into has now filled up with grease and the grease will stop any leaking. Santa! Come out of the bush please! So that is the stern gland done. So now We're now going to check the oil on the engine. A four cylinder Azuzu Marine engine. Not really much to say because I'm not an engineer. 
apart from the fact you don't empty the oil out of the bottom of the sump there is a pump there and you pump it out when you want to do your oil change because obviously you can't get to the bottom of the sump like you could in a car that's probably the most ingenious thing I can tell you about the engine apart from the fact that it's a beast so I'm just going to set the camera down while I pull out the dipstick hold on very unprofessional putting my hand in front of the camera but then I never claim to be a professional usual story for checking oil dipstick out back in a couple of seconds and then let's have a look because that's right up to the dot on most of the day back into position and then simple as that so what we've got to do now is check the prop shaft for obstructions through the weed hatch. This will be the most dismal, diabolical camera effort you've ever seen in your life. So, I don't actually know whether I'm catching this or not. Because this GoPro has no screen on it so I can see what I'm filming. So we'll never get to find out after the event whether I've caught it. But it's quite simple, you just give that a twist though, which takes off the retaining bolt. With this I will need two hands, so forgive me if you get to see the sky. If I actually, I say trust this gun, I have actually had it underwater before. Uh, I could dip it in, but I ain't gonna take the chance. Oh, look at them! Ooh, oh, they're like water weevils. Yee. that's now just put a shiny different light. Oh dear, on <laughs> sticking my hand down there. It's got to be done. So the water weevils, I'm going to have to wait. So, I've got to lie down for this. Uh, look at this stupid dog. This was quite simple. So I can touch the top of the prop. Straight back and feel there's nothing on that. Nothing at all. Happy days, I'm quite chuffed about that. So now all I've got to do is put the water weevils back.
of the Udrima seem obsessed with tightening that up so much that you need a bloody jackhammer to get it off, whereas I don't. I'm more than happy with that. So, that is that. Shuttle hatch up. Maintenance for the day done. Just look at these little water weevil things. Ooh. Oh, I'm not into them. Oh, I'm sorry, but they're gonna die. That's what you get for living on my my boat. Oh, they're like oh, the beasts. That's why you don't want to fall into the canal. Don't laugh. I just managed to rescue all three of those water things, whatever they were and put them all back in the canal. So, it wasn't a pleasant experience, but I did it. <laughs>